everyone. Good afternoon. Welcome to our September webinar, Make Integration Easy, How to Retrieve Documents from Any Program with Just One Button. My name is Nicole Schmeider, Marketing Specialist here at DocuWare, and I'll be moderating today's session. The webinar today will be presented by Terry Ori, Inside Sales Director and Document Management Expert. So uh, the first five minutes, Terry will give you an overview of how the DocuWare solution will help you set a new pace for your organization. Then he'll go into a live demo of the DocuWare and Smart Connect solution, and then we'll open it up for Q&A at the end of the session. Thank you again for joining us today, and I'll pass it off to Terry. Thank you, Nicole, appreciate that. Okay, so again, my name is Terry Ori. Uh, I have been with DocuWare for nine months. Uh, I've been in the industry for some 25 years, and it's my pleasure to bring to you uh, the DocuWare presentation of Smart and how it can bring information instantly to you uh, in your third-party software with the click of a button. Uh, being said, um, what we see on the screen here about information being difficult to manage because there's sources, okay, at a, at a given moment, uh, pressure is on people, uh, you get calls, you get requests for information and collaboration, so it comes from all over the place. People are stretched to do more, okay, with less, uh, so you're worried about compromise, longer hours, less uh, um, software to help you. Uh, good software to help you, like DocuWare. Questions about the software, the security of it. You know, is your data protected? Uh, is your privacy insured or is it compliant? Are your um, documents uh, securely, uh, both physically uh, and, uh, and out on the web secure? And then, uh, you know, the tools that help uh, software be simple. Some software programs can be very frustrating and complex. Uh, Whereas DocuWare, it's very intuitive, usable, and uh, future ready. Future ready meaning uh, if you want to enable things such as workflow uh, at, at any given point when you're ready, it's built in. So what you're seeing on the screen now is the um, different departments that improve uh, your workflow in your organization, whether that's from accounting, sales, HR, I'll let you read each of these boxes, but the point here is, is that uh, DocuWare has been implemented in all of these areas to improve the workflow in all of them. And through the beginning, uh, since uh, DocuWare has been founded, we have discovered that uh, these are the most popular areas, although not the least uh, or restricted. You can put them in you know, service, the warehouse, not listed. Uh, you know, anywhere in your organization uh, to instantaneous information. We've discovered that accounting and HR are two of the most uh, popular right out of the box um, workflow requirements organizations have, but not limited to those two. Okay, so that being said, these are some of the areas that DocuWare plays very well with. It's very secure, very accessible. You can use mobile devices, handheld devices, uh, Apple devices, uh, and compliant, ranging from HIPAA compliancy, serving Oxley uh, compliancy, SOC 2 compliance. So it depends upon what you're looking for. I'm gonna talk a little bit about DocuWare Smart Connect Utility. Okay, um, it, it basically brings with just one click, instantly uh, reveals all the documents associated with the process at hand, regardless of which software you use. So if you're looking at the monitor on the bottom left screen, this could be your software, your comfort zone that you're in every day, okay? It's your ERP system, maybe it's your accounting software system, could be QuickBooks, Microsoft Dynamics, uh, Sage, you know, they have Sage 500, 100, Sage 300, SAP, uh, Epicor, and SAP, just to name a few. Uh, accounting packages, there's HR packages, you name it, you're in it, you work with it, okay? So you may get a call for information, and that information might be in the filing cabinet, you have to put a customer uh, on hold, you have to go over to that filing cabinet, hopefully the document is properly filed in the right place, and it's not misfiled. If you can get it and come back, it's a couple of minutes. Wouldn't you rather be able to click a button embedded right in your software application, that 
automatically links the document filing cabinet. If you're on, a, let's say, an account number uh, for a certain project and you click a button, it automatically brings the, let's say, an invoice uh, right to your screen. So you can go over that information quickly and more efficiently, uh, you know, saving the customer time and satisfaction. So that's definitely a benefit. Okay. That being said, let's actually show DocuWare in action. I'm going to show you the DocuWare screen. So screen, bring it up. Okay, so right now I'm going to be showing you one of uh, the accounting personnel. Her name is Peggy Jenkins. She uh, is one of the major account players here in a workflow environment. Okay, and I'm going to literally bring up the DocuWare interface. Okay, just logging in right now. Okay. So here's the DocuWare interface. It's a split screen window. On the right is where documents come in that are rendered for view. On the left are where your documents come in through various sources. Okay, and before I explain some of the sources, how they come in, I just want to say uh, with the DocuWare Cloud, all you need is a browser. We don't care which one. I'm using Chrome. You could be using uh, Internet Explorer, Firefox, you name it. Uh, we don't endorse one over the other. So there's no hardware uh, requirements to join into the cloud. All you need is a browser and your URL, which can be branded after your company, branding purposes. So what we see here are um, a bunch of documents that I have brought in. Okay, documents come in through many methods. Most popular would be scanning. If you have paper, paper documents have to be digitized. How do they get digitized? Through scanning. You may have a desktop scanner. You may have an MFP copier on the network, okay, which is uh, you know well configured and browser based brought in through the network, okay. So, so other than scanning, let's say your documents already digital, okay, we would come to import and basically search through either your computer or wherever you have them stored, okay, or maybe they're on a network. Okay, you go out to your network. As long as you have the rights to browse out, maybe you have a company share drive. Some companies call it the K drive, uh, or you're using like a Microsoft SharePoint. As long as you have the rights to browse out and get to those documents, you can bring them in and import them into DocuWare. Speaking of which, there are over 250 dissimilar type of documents that can be imported and stored in DocuWare for archiving purposes. So these documents I imported, I dragged them, or they can be dragged and dropped over into the uh, in-basket. I have one in-basket here. You can have multiple in-baskets, and you can name them whatever you wish. Okay? You notice the color codes of these documents. DocuWare has an intelligent uh, indexing and an artificial uh, intelligence capability. When documents, forms come in for the first time, Okay, DocuWare doesn't recognize it, that form might be in red. Where it's kind of like a stopwatch or a, a traffic light. The second or third time it sees the same document and you fill it out, it turns to yellow or amber. The confidence level increases as it has seen the document, the form, over and over. And finally, green. Green indicates the highest level of confidence threshold. It has seen this form numerous times. That's all that that color uh, indication means. So how would you then for a document for archiving? Once it comes in, you would select it to view, click on it, and as you men I mentioned earlier, on the right side are where documents are rendered. Okay, we have tools over here to annotate. I can uh, you know, mask out certain areas that don't uh, get shown. They do not alter the document. They're just overlays. I can email and print right from here. Uh, but in order to see the document, we have a yellow box here called store. We click on it and we are presented with our filing cabinets. You can have one filing cabinet, you can have multiple filing cabinets and you name them. Okay, I'm gonna go with the default. Okay, I'm gonna store it. And before I do, I don't want it to be from my inbox tray. Now, on the right, on the left side here, um, are our index fields. This is the metadata index fields. And if you notice, DocuWare has taken the liberty of automatically filling in 
some of the index fields for you so that you don't have to manually key them in. Okay, so this is um, simply because it has recognized this form before. So, for example, if one of the fields is wrong, let's take the uh, amount here, we'll exit out. If we go over to the form with our mouse and hover over the area, let's just snap it right in. We just click on it, and if you notice, it comes in and puts automatically. So you can do that with all of the index fields over here. That's called intelligent index. And we are teaching this form okay, where everything is so that the next time everything will be filled in, it will go from red to yellow and then over time to green, maybe the third or fourth time it sees this form. So let's store it now that it's been filled in. You don't have to put everything in, but let's store it. And now it's gone into that filing cabinet. How does one now view or retrieve documents with DocuWare? Very simple. We give you a large search spyglass. When you click that, you're presented with index metadata fields uh, that you could uh, had filled in prior. Okay, if you fill in any of these, you have a drop down list, and if you select the company name, WB Mason, okay, if you could search by it. If you select uh, any of these other index fields. If you go by today, it'll find it. This is called a blank search. I'm not filling in anything. I'm just going over and searching for everything. Okay, and it gives me the hit list, and usually it's the top document, the most recent goes on top. And that was the one we just filed. Very simple, simple to use interface, very clean. Okay, I'm sure you'll all agree. Okay, so for getting documents in, whether they're scanned, imported, storing them, indexing them, and then retrieving them. This is the uh, classic DocuWare interface. Okay, so that being said, I'm now going to transition over to the Smart Connect, one click uh, in your third-party software. All right, so to do that, let me just get out minimize this, okay, and open up our third-party software. Now, this could be, again, any one of your third-party softwares that you use every day, all right? For example, a customer call, you want to talk to me, customer service rep about uh, an invoice that has an issue, payment issue, uh, an amount issue, the number of quantity shipped, whatever the issue may be. Normally, when you get that phone call, you'd have to put the person on hold, go find the document. What does that take? Okay, you have to factor in all these information. Up top, these are called Smart Connect buttons that DocuWare has put in so that from your software, you can literally reach the filing cabinet without having to get up out of your seat. So let's say we want to find the invoice associated with Thomas Rain. Okay, then we would just say, hey, we want to see the invoice, click on it, and then it's being executed, and then we should have a hit list very shortly. Didn't have to get up, didn't have to go to a filing cabinet, didn't have to put you on hold for a minute or five minutes at the customer irate. This is instantaneous access to information. Okay, I hope that is perfectly clear. So that being said, we're gonna close a couple things out and show you if you're in your CRM, a lot of databases or third party these systems have a CRM, and let's say, for example, the all of the documents associated with Thomas Rain. So I would click that and come up to my contact button. This was put in here on purpose because we want to see the contacts. Again, it's being executed, as you can see. Okay, I have a hit list. In, and it should give me all of the documents only associated with Flying Tom Thomas Rain of Germany. And Okay, it's very specific. These are all of the contact information. Here's a document, I just clicked on it. It's an email that was saved. And I will show you in a couple minutes how DocuWare has a very tight integration, one click from within Outlook, or Soft Outlook, to not only store documents in DocuWare, but also to retrieve them right from Outlook. So here's an example of um, you know, an email being stored right from Outlook. All right, I hope that's perfectly clear. Now let me transition over to show you how those buttons were actually 
built within the um, docuer and the factorama. All right. So I'm going to put a, a button over here to show all of the companies that this uh, application has been uh, associated. Right. In order to do that, in order to build a button on the top here, all we have to do is go to the Smart Connect utility, which happens to be running in my tray. I click that. I'm given my Smart Connect utility. I want to manage and create a smart search. I'm running in a um, virtual machine environment. It's a little slow, but it'll So as I mentioned, it's a little slow. We're going to do a new configuration for Smart Search. Now you may be thinking, does this require programming uh, or any API toolkit or other SDK kit? No, it does not. All you have to do is use the utility and a couple of clicks, and it will build a button for you, as I'm showing. Okay, we want to take a screenshot. Okay, we want to define the area. Okay. Is this the proper area? Yes. We want to use to search. Yes. That is the right information. We say yes. Okay. To verify, we come over to our search, and we're going to say we want to search in this area on the screen right, for text company. And we're going to drag it over to our company field in Docker. So this is the, the tie right here, back to the filing cabinet for companies. Okay, very good. We do that. And we say once we've done that, we execute it. Okay, and once we execute it, we're going to add a button. And where do you want to add the button? Let's put it right next to connect to the right of it a little bit. It says Docker search. Okay, that's fine, but we want to change it to company search. So once we do that, and we hit the little pencil here, and it gives us the name that we want to search over here. We change it to company search or anything else you want to have it. We say OK. Uh, we grant permissions. In this case, Peggy is the user. I can add other users. Uh, to have rights to use those buttons or not see them. It's all rights driven. I hit save. That button has now been added to my third party software, in this case, Factorama. So if I get out of here, it is in my third party software, company search. So for example, if I were to want to search for uh, everything associated with Thomas Rain with Flying Tom Company, I hit company search. It's being executed. I didn't have to get up and go to my filing cabinet, and it will launch the hit list right here. Those are all the documents that are flying uh, Thomas Germany, Thomas Rain, or the word Rain associated with it. It didn't give you a lengthy list. It was very specific and narrow because that's what you wanted. So Smart Connect is a very easy to embed utility within your third party software to help you instantaneously uh, bring documents uh, right to your third party software. Okay, I'm gonna transition now to Microsoft Outlook. Okay, I'm going to log in as uh, Mr. Um, Peter Sanders. Okay, I'm gonna transition over. Here's my Peter Sanders. Okay, log in with him. Okay, I have the email open. Okay, and if you notice on top of the filing ribbon, we have a couple of um, different looking icons. You don't have these in your Outlook unless you have Docs. This is an integration with Microsoft Outlook, very tight. Okay, which allows you to store any email or their associated attachments and also search um, by any email. So if I select on the screen and I want to save this uh, particular document, I simply would hit store and 
select the filing cabinet and then hit the word store. And now that document will be stored after I index it. I give it a few um, metadata index fields and answer what part do you want, if there was an attachment associated uh, or both. You hit store and this document is now on its way. It still stays in your inbox, but a copy has been added to DocuWare. Okay, uh, down the road at some point, if you want to search uh, for a specific document right from Outlook, again, uh, it has the search capability for you to just click on it and it will bring back all of the associated documents based upon how you saved it. And that's an integration with Microsoft Outlook. Okay, and now with that, I'm going to hand it back off to Nicole. So you'll see on the screen here Sorry. we have a um, quote from a customer who uses Smart Connect, and um, they returned, uh, they received an ROI in less than one year, and saw immediate improvement in their customer service. Um, they gave, they were um, able to achieve real-time transparency and seamless information flow between their departments. And um, this is downloadable right now in the handout section of your GoToWebinar, but I'll, we'll also email you a copy as well. So with that, um, next slide, we'll open it up to, for Q&A now. So feel free to type in some questions in the question box. Again, this was introductory. If you wanted to see more uh, personalized demo to your specific needs, definitely um, you can request one at start.docuware.com slash smartconnect. Email us um, after the webinar tomorrow, next week, anytime at contact.us.docuware.com. Or if you're already working with your authorized DocuWare partner, definitely reach out to them to get a more personalized demo. Um, 